Hello, students of FBC 0025 Chemistry 2. So, you will be doing the first experiment, colligative properties, freezing point depression and boiling point elevation. In this video, we are going to share with you on the some part of experiment demonstration. Before we proceed, let me mention to you about this important disclaimer notes. This video only serves as demonstration purpose to help students visualizing the steps of experiment and provide some idea on the expected observation or outcome. Kindly adhere to the steps, measurement, instructions given in the lab manual to get accurate result. So before you start your lab, okay, there are some pre-lab instructions that you need to complete. The first one is you must revise the topic on colligative properties, especially on the freezing point depression and boiling point elevation. This is to ensure that you understand on what you are going to do in the lab. The second one is make sure you read the introduction and answer the pre-lab handouts accordingly. You must complete this before you go to the lab. So similarly, you also have to prepare the lab jotter and chemical assessment. If you need assistance, you may refer to the link in description for instruction video on how to extract information for chemical assessment from the SDS. Alright, so there will be two parts in this experiment. In the first part, we are going to explore the freezing point depression. Okay, so for this one, we are going to use lauric acid as a solvent and benzoic acid as the solute. Huh. Okay, before we start, I just want to mention to you that we are going to use Vernier LabQuest for the data collection. So, you must set it up correctly according to the instruction given in the lab manual. Do not skip that part. And you have to heat a, a water bath as well. Alright, okay, so let me just uh, proceed uh, with the steps on what you are going to do in the lab. So you see, you have a lauric acid here. We are going to measure the freezing temperature of lauric acid. So we are going to weave it accordingly. So you see that, oh, it is in powder form, right? Okay, so you pour it in the, put it in the beaker. Okay, you can use, use waving balance as well. All right, so uh, that's kind of a rusty waving balance. That's okay. Okay, then you're going to transfer this lauric acid into a boiling tube. Okay, so you see this is a boiling tube coming. Oops, okay, let me just pause it right there. Okay, there is boiling tube and can you see that it is in the liquid form? Just now when you weave, it was in the powder form. Actually, because you are heating it up in the hot water bath first. Okay, so now let, let us just proceed. Okay, so we are going to transfer it into this beaker A and make sure the level of the lauric acid is lower than the water bath level there. Okay, after that, you are going to have your lab quest here and put it in. All right, can you see uh, there is a temperature reading? It should, it should be working, all right? Okay, so uh, once it reached certain temperature as given in the lab manual, okay, you can click start, okay? So once you click start, meaning to say the data has uh, is being collected, okay, by the lab quest. Okay, so when, when you are doing the data collection, you must stir it gently okay uh, by pushing the probe up and down up and down okay but do not try to stir it like you are making some uh, ice milo or what okay be gentle okay in the experiment here all right so uh, after that you should get the data for the uh, determination of freezing uh, temperature of the solvent or the lauric acid so now we are going to proceed to add solute so what is our solute just now it is benzoic acid okay so here we are going to pour it uh hey, no, no no it's waving it okay so accordingly you can use the beaker here or waving balance hey, sorry waving paper as i said okay look at that my friend is trying to be precise okay so um, all right, okay, so once we get uh, the benzoic acid, we are going to transfer it into the lauric acid. Basically, you are going to melt the lauric acid a bit. This is a hot water bath, as you can see. All right, so we are going to remove the um, temperature probe first, okay? And then you see, there we go, we have our beaker, all right, uh, with the benzoic acid. So with the spatula there, I am going to transfer this benzoic acid into the lauric acid in the boiling tube yeah okay so you have to be careful be gentle okay make sure you don't sprinkle the benzoic acid all around or else you're 
data will not be very accurate okay so make sure you you pour it all into the boiling tube and wait for it to be melted okay so once it is all melted and mixed well okay you are going to do it again to collect the data again so what you need to do is just follow the lab manual so the function here is just to allow you to visualize on what uh, how do you set set it up and so on okay so that's it for the experiment here so now let us move on to the second part on the boiling point elevation so for this part we are not going to use the lorry acid anymore we are going to use water okay water and sodium chloride as the solute so let us move huh. so again before uh, we proceed i would like to remind you that you are going to use vernier lab quest for the data collection and you must set it up before you start this second part so the second part you have two sub part which is on you want to determine the first one is we want to determine the boiling temperature of the solvent or the water so you're going to have your water here okay measured by the measuring cylinder so we're going to pour it and transfer it into this beaker so once we have transferred it into the beaker we are going to take the aluminium foil Ta -da! okay so we are going to close the uh, beaker okay the top of the beaker make it a uh, aluminium lid all right after that what are you going to do is that we are going to poke a small hole okay on the aluminium lid all right so when we poke a small hole there okay uh, we are going to insert the temperature probe okay so for the temperature probe here uh, we are going to start collecting the data okay make sure that the temperature reach around i think based on the lab manual it says 90 degrees celsius so once it is 90 degrees celsius all right you can click start on the lab quest uh, interface there okay so once you click start on the lab quest interface you will get the data okay so now um once you have completed to determine the boiling temperature of your water okay we are going to add the solute into it okay so you have to be careful because it's hot water there okay so we are going to add the sodium chloride okay with the measurement okay as given in the lab manual so once you put it in all right basically you are going to stir it okay so that uh, the sodium chloride will dissolve okay so after that we are just going to repeat the same thing all right uh, in which okay after you okay after that you are going to stir it okay make sure it's dissolved and then we are going to start collecting the data to determine what is the boiling temperature of the water or the solution under the presence of the sodium chloride all right i hope that it is clear for you and you understand and how to do it okay that is all Thank you so much for listening and I hope that this video of experiment demonstration will be useful to you. Good luck in doing your lab and if you have any question, do not hesitate to get assistance from your lecturer or your lab demonstrator. We will be happy to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day.